me see. Where'd she go? There she is. I'm starting to wonder if she's pregnant or if she's got something wrong with her. She isn't pine coned or anything, but I swear she looks like she's got dropsy. I'm pretty sure she's just an extremely pregnant guppy. I lost her again. There she is. I've been waiting for her to pop for about a week, and she, well, actually, it's been almost two now. You see something starting to stick out in the front, so, jeez. I'm wondering if she's actually sick or something. What do you guys think? I don't know. I think there's just, like, a lot of babies in there, because I can't see any other problem. Her scales look good, except that they're starting to... She's getting a little uneven there, but she's so small and she's so big at the same time. So small with such a fat tummy. That's what I'm aiming for. My goodness. And in case anybody's wondering why my uh, tank is kind of murky, I've got a little aquarium salt and uh, kind of fix in there. So one of my fish had an injury. And I didn't want to risk him getting an infection, so I put a little bit of stuff in there, just in case. Nothing too potent. For some reason, my, uh, Nubius there seems to do better when there's salt in the tank. I don't know why. The rest of my plants aren't too happy about it. Well, the stem plants and that little one look okay. They started just absolutely bursting out like weeds. <laughs> Yeah, got a couple new ones in there. Seem to be doing okay. The mollies, I'm pretty sure that's what's been going on. Not ants, see? They go over and they look at the leaf and they chew on it a bit and then they slam into it. And they're making little, taking little chunks out. Which is killing some of my leaves off. Finally figured it out. That's what's happening to my plants. I was wondering why I'd clip off some dying leaves and then... Suddenly there'd be more damaged ones later. They just find a new one to chew on. There's some of my babies. My little juvenile Molly down there. She's got five or six of them in there. See, there's some of them over there. They've gotten pretty big and they're neat little things. I've got nothing in there. I'm just waiting for the uh, guppy to start having her babies. I've got a couple plants floating around in there. There's my evil boy right there. He uh, pretty much tries to breed with everything. Plotties, mollies, guppies, my garamis, which are male. <laughs> I think he actually went after one of my Corys once, too. He's a pretty thing, though, isn't he? And I've got a new molly, which is her. I couldn't resist when I saw that pretty silver thing. She's got a little nick out of her tail. She's... One of the main reasons that I put in a little salt and Pemifix for some antibacterial. So that should fix. Well, it might not grow back. That uh, Dalmatian Molly that I've got right there, she's got a nick out of her tail too, and she's had it for, oh, six months or so. It never did grow back. Trumped off the lily tails. Oh, hey, net. <laughs> if I put my net anywhere else, the cat gets it. So it's kind of hanging there in the way. There's Leo, the gold grommy. He's getting bigger. He's now almost the size Capone is. And they surprisingly get along well, but I still watch them like hawks, because I hear that uh, they don't always get along. But everybody seems to go along just fine. There's my tank. I've got a whole bunch of new plants in there, so... Give them about a month or so and everything will probably look a good bit better. And there's my gold bloody. She looks like she's pregnant again. She had uh, two batches of babies in one month last month. No, wait, I think it was two months ago. I don't remember. But she looks like she's getting ready to go again. It's funny, I don't have any male plotties in there, so it's possible she saved some from another mating back at pet shop or wherever she came from before that. 
Yep, here's my 55 gallon tank. I've got a little water streaming down the side. Well, a little dry of the water. I put a little extra in earlier today and I spilled it all over the place. And I'm getting very bad about wiping down the, uh, the glass. Blech. That thing's finally working again. Sort of. My little bubbler back there. I used to open up the top every uh, three or four seconds. Now it takes longer. I don't know why. I think I think I messed something up on the hooks. But that's all right. Works for me. My mollies don't like it quite as much as they used to. Usually that thing's just kind of blasting away, and everybody's like, woohoo! There's my half black and half gold gold dust molly. She had a little something weird going on with her tail. Seems to be almost gone. I think it was a cyst or something. It was just a little dot and it wasn't ick. So we think it was a uh, lymphocystis or something like that. But it seems to be fixing. You can still kind of see it. Isn't she pretty though? I love that molly. my babbling update for the day it's like it's late and I'm tired <laughs> my tanks are on a little bit longer tonight because their schedule is usually about 1, 1 p.m. to about 10 or 11 p.m. usually I only keep the lights on for about eight or nine hours but uh, since I've got new plants I've been leaving them on a little longer and the fish don't really care I can tell when they're getting tired, and I'll flip the lights off if they're tired before I'm ready to. Because I'll just kind of flute around all blue. <laughs> Alright, 55 gallon tank update. And a little bit of a question on my guppy. Uh oh. I hate it when I feel like I'm going to sneeze and then it doesn't come. So annoying and evil. There's my red platy there. He decided to become a boy. It was a female until about last month or so when I noticed, hey, he's turning into a boy. She is becoming a he. Alright, so anybody want to tell me what kind of guppies I've got? If you can even see them very well. Uh, are they just called fancy guppies or is there an actual name for them? Especially those ones that are kind of cream colored with a little bit of, I just call them lemon creams. <laughs> kind of a creamy color with bright yellow tails. 